Good day, guys, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be having a look at the S.0.4050 Vator 2B. This is a rank 5 battle rating 9.0 French um, bomber, uh, jet bomber. This is um, a pretty well renowned, at least in the War and Thunder community. Um, there is three variants of this in the game. you got the premium variant. You got the 2A and you got the 2B, which is the one, which is the first one, the tech tree. Um, so the uh, Vatua has um, a top speed stock of almost 1,100 kilometers an hour. You have a crew of two um, in the uh, Mark 2B variant with the pilot and the gunner, or the bomber, as it is in this one, the bombardier. Um, your max speed is at sea level, and you have a max altitude of 15 kilometers. So, you can be a cancerous Vatua player if you really desire to do that. You have a turn time of 32 seconds stock, which isn't bad at all for a bomber. You can, especially when you get to the 2A, which I'll probably, I'll definitely do a video on that one as well. You get guns, but this one you can probably still outmaneuver some people, especially if, you, if you're at a higher speed at altitude. Um, for... Uh, modifications on the one you've on the Mark Two B you've only got bombs. You start off with two, um, with ten two fifty pounders, um, which I think ten of those can destroy a base at, at nine point I'm not sure though. Then you get uh, ten five hundreds, which I think you can destroy a base in a bit with that. And then you get the seven fifties, which is the ones that you should be using. As four seven fifties, maybe it's three. One of the two notes, yeah, it's four 750s can destroy a base. So you can get two and a half bases done with that one. And you can also take 1,000 pounders if you maybe want to use it for CAS or something like that. You do also get boosters on this one, so that will help your turn rate um, quite drastically. And, yeah, just general jet mods and a G-suit. Um, you don't have any camouflages for this one. Just bog standard, nothing at all space French skin. Alrighty guys, let's get into some battles and see what we can do. Okay, here we go. We are on El Alamein. We are at, oh, looks 9.0 max, no, 9.7, so we've got FGAs. Alright, well, as you see, the uh, Mark II A's have to actually go and dive, the Israeli ones, premium. Because they don't have a bomb site, whereas I do. I think overall that will make this one my more favourite in Vartour because you don't have to blindly rush in. Whereas with the other things you do, does the A4 have bombs? No, he doesn't. It's just three premium Vartours and me, the non premium Vartour. Alrighty, I'll see you on the action. Okay, here we go. Gonna drop all the bombs on the airfield, here we go. Alright, let's see how much bombing that does. The premium battle has rushed in and got all the um, other bases done. Alrighty, so there they are. They've fallen down towards the airfield. Oh, he died on the airfield. That's sad. Oh, okay, they overshot massively. I got an assist on that, but some of those overshot massively. That bomb site is not very accurate. So we didn't actually get much bombing in there. But we got an assist in the Vatual Mark II B. That's pretty rare. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, let's rearm and see if I can get back at the base. Okay, this is my chance to win this game here. The G91YS is landed on the airfield. He's the last one left. Is he going to try and take off? Yes, he is. That's my, that's my one chance. I know he's not going to work. Alright. Well, there's some more bombing on the base. Not much, but they all hit this time, luckily. 
Um, but yeah, that was my one chance. I could maybe try and crash into him and they have less tickets, so maybe I can win that way. I don't know. Let's uh, see what I can try and do here. See if I can make us win this. Wish I had guns right now. No! Okay, just level out. had that. Mm. I don't think there's anything more I could have done there except try and do those bombs better. But I was sure he was going to take off. Ah. Okay, here we go. We are on Battle for Bastogne. We have the 500, the 10 500s now. I'm not sure how many it's going to take for a base. I'll start with six. We'll see how that goes. Um... Got this base down here. Something I have learnt is the bomb site on this thing is not accurate. I'll be submitting a bug report for it, but it they're definitely not accurate at all. Oh god, it's not rip. Let's air break out maybe. Slow ourselves down a tad bit. But um it definitely does not drop the bombs where you put the target. Um, you've got to be very careful with it because, yeah, it's a very finicky to get right. I find if you drop them just before or right at the start of the base, you'll tend to get it pretty well. Alright, let's drop six bombs. One, two, three, four. So I dropped them right at the start. Oh, they, maybe in a dive they're more accurate, but definitely flat level flight. They um they do not um go in very accurately. I was trying high altitude bombing and I aimed at a spot and it hit like quite a bit away from where I aimed for. Alright. There's the last one. Last one away. Maybe in a dive they're a bit more accurate, we'll see, but look I'll do level flight for this one over here. There's that base gone. Head to this base. Cause yeah, I don't know. You think for a jet bomber that have a like a 1950s bomber, maybe even 1960s. I'm not sure when this was made, but they'd have at least a semi. So look, drop the bombs there. I know those aren't going to hit. Cause look, I dropped them center of the base. Look where they'll hit. Way over, way over. That one didn't even do any bomb damage. Oh, maybe it did. But, you know. You know, that second one didn't do any damage. So, doesn't really hit. Alright, I'm going to RTB and see if I can um, get another load. Oh, there we go. They lost all vehicles. We're on short final though, so we would have just been about to land here. Down. See if we can go on. Can we get it down? The game ends. Let's do that. Okay, here we go. We are on Kriminsk on summer nineteen forty five. Uh, the team is pretty much already dead, so there is no chance of victory on this one. Let's at least try to get a bombing run in, though. Uh, we have the 750s now, uh, with the M117 Cone 45s. Um, I def I was actually playing the Vatua last night, so I unlocked these a while ago, and I've already spaded the Vatua, so... Um, four 750s will kill a base very easily. Um... Yeah, so four 750s for a base. Um, so the four 750s are the best loadout you have. Um, the 1000s can 
be okay, but you actually get more TNT in total from the 750s than you do the 1000s. And yeah, um, still haven't managed to get any kills with the bombs yet, but you know, it's just all a matter of time. Uh, but yeah, alright, let's pull around. Let's get our bombs on target. Let's drop some. Still got to keep the uh, bomb radical short, even with the 750s. It still doesn't work. I haven't tested the 1000s yet, but um, we'll have to see how they go. But yeah, um, I don't know. I don't want to be a dickhead and run, but I'm going to RTB if I can. If he doesn't kill me here. No chance of hitting that high deflection shot. Alrighty, gonna RTB if I can. Well, that didn't go well. Um, yeah. Alrighty, we're on LL main for this one. Oh, shit, that actually jet close to me. Well, if we dive, they shouldn't be able to catch us. Okay, so the second battle with the 750s, because these are the ones that you'll be using most commonly. Um, let this drop short. One, two, for that one. Let's go for this base now. Let's not rip like we did in the last battle. Alright, um, we're almost at the point. Alright, let's get the bomb bay door open before we forget. Alright, pitch down, pitch down, come on. This thing does not like to pitch down at all either. Oh god, it's not gonna. Oh no, we're gonna miss it. <laughs> yeah, be careful with that. You cannot pitch down well on this thing. Alright, uh,. One, two, three, four. That's quite straight. Close the bomb bay for the moment. Let's turn around. Okay, let's not rip our wings. Turn around. So the, the bomb reticle is definitely helpful, but once you learn that you have to like drop them short, it's definitely... Um, very very helpful. I'm not sure how hard it will be to use in tank RB, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Let's see if I can toss bomb. Let's RTB. Pitch up, pitch up, pitch up, flaps. Mm. Oh. Okay, here we go, um, with the 1,000 pounders. Um, we are in 1.99 now, oh look there's even a SU-7B. Um, so yeah, an F-104, so we're going to have to deal with those now. But um, yeah, let's open up that bombo. Let's uh, drop, hopefully those don't overshoot. Hoping that maybe they fix the bombing thing in 1.97, because this is only a few seconds, or a few seconds... Maybe 30 minutes after patch dropped, so um, we'll have to see. So, those very much so are some GE'd Su-7 and F-104s. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, they look... Oh, actually, that pretty, pretty much on target. Maybe they have fixed it a bit. Alrighty. Let's see, the 1000s there, how much bombing did that give me? Did they all hit? Did they all hit? Yeah. See, 1.44, whereas the 750s would have given you almost two tons. So, 750s, definitely bad choice. Oh, there's an F3H2 as well. All the new planes are here. Where's the F3H? There he is. I've heard the flight model on that thing's actually a lot better than it was on the dev server, so it might actually be okay. Alrighty, I'm going to RTB and uh, see if we can get another bomb load off. Ah, oh, well, we got strafed on the runway.
Alrighty, there you have it. The SO450 Vatua 2B. It's a very capable 9.0 jet bomber, as you saw. It's um, very good for grinding out. I've ground out the 2A, the Oregon, the MD450, and we're on our way to the Mirage. So, you know, it's quite a good um, grinder if, you're, if that's what you're looking for without having to buy any premiums. Um, when 1.99 first dropped, um, I was getting a lot of battles where they'd actually up to the base health on a few maps. I haven't gotten any of those new maps yet, but if you do get one of them, you'll definitely notice it. And it takes um, 8 to 750s instead of 4, so keep that in mind. I actually prefer those maps, but yeah. Um, you're definitely a bit more vulnerable with the F-104s and the Su-7s running around now, but um, if you keep it a high speed um, and you just maneuver, especially with the... Um, F-104s, you pull, you can pull harder than an F-104, so not too hard to avoid that. Um, and I think the bomb site might have been slightly fixed. And also, they've modified the name of two of the M of the 750s to have a cone 90. Not sure what that means, I haven't seen any difference in any of the bombs. So yeah, I think they're pretty much the same. But yeah, I think uh, that's all that's changed in the patch. Apart from, yeah, I think everything pretty much is the same. And um, apart from the uh, bombardier hatch that they added, which was a nice little thing they could add. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.